Ph. Dussel, and I'm your host, Alice Cheng, and today we are interviewing Kastara Omid Zohor, who got his PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford, and now he works at Apple. We're actually at the Apple in Union Square in San Francisco right now. So tell me a little bit about your education and what you're doing now at Apple. Okay, so I did my undergrad at Stanford and I got involved with some research and I worked with a professor on some of his research and I had the opportunity to continue on with him for a PhD. And okay. so the year that I started my PhD was the same year that the iPhone was launched. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it was a big deal back then. Um, and there was a lot of research into making chips for the new smartphone category. And so my research was in making chips that could work across different wireless standards like Wi-Fi, cellular, GPS. Uh, they can work in any smartphone device, and it took a few years of research, and then industry uh, kind of perfected that research before now we're kind of seeing more of that uh, technology in today's products. Oh, okay, awesome. So yeah. you were like engineering the future. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. Yeah. Thanks. thanks. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. All right. Is that what you're doing at Apple now? Uh, so at Apple, I work on the iPhone. So Apple's really secretive and <laughs> oh, no. you know, has a lot of things. So I can't say too much about that, but I do okay. work on the iPhone. Today. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so I've heard some rumors about iPhone 8. Uh, Can you tell us anything about what's upcoming? <laughs> It's going to be great. That's, awesome. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right. Um, Serious side scoop. <laughs> so apart from being secretive at Apple, what else are your hobbies and what do you like to do in your spare time? So during graduate school, I had the opportunity to teach some classes. I think if you're a PhD, you have a choice to kind of go into being a professor or working in industry. And I like the teaching part, but I didn't think I wanted to go be a professor right away, uh, at least. And so I allow it to continue teaching. So in my spare time, I work with a nonprofit, an education nonprofit, wow. and we try to help uh, tutor students in San Francisco. Okay. Do you teach a specific subject? It's actually all subjects. It's whatever the students need help with. Um, we have a lot of English language learners, so a lot of times it's uh, English language, which is something maybe that their parents can't help them with at home. Okay. So. Tell me what you do in your spare time. I think you say you volunteer at a nonprofit. I do. I volunteer at a nonprofit. We're here right now in the <laughs> nonprofit store. So this is a pirate supply store. Oh my gosh. We sell pirate supplies. What's it called? It's called a pirate A two six Valencia pirate supply store. Okay. Yeah. And is your nonprofit about pirates? No, it's not. Oh. It's just the theme. <laughs> so it looks like a pirate ship, and we sell pirate supplies in the front which allows us to be on a very uh, busy street in San Francisco. And in the back, we do our tutoring with the kids. And so selling the pirate supplies actually pays for the front, and then we have donations that help them pay for Wow, that. what a great and really fun cause. Thanks, yeah, it's, yeah. Been, it's been good working with the program. So, 826 <laughs> Valencia. Exactly. PH Dizzle. Having fun with smart people who do cool things.